Help us help you. Help us help you. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Webcenter Whiteboard with Redstone Content Solutions. My name is Michael Lawrence and I'll be your host today. We're going to talk about usability testing and helping us help you. Um, might sound a little familiar, it's a famous movie line from Jerry Maguire that Tom Cruise said, but we felt it was a great title for today's video on usability because not a lot of companies approve of usability when it comes down to software projects and budgets and timeline. They just don't see the value there. So it's, we're going to talk about helping us, a software consulting company, help you with usability to improve your ROI on your projects. So to understand what usability is, you got to understand what usability isn't. And what it isn't is a test of the user. We're not testing how well they can use the website or do they know where to go or how to use it. It's not their fault. What we're trying to do is test how well the website or the software tool communicates desired actions to the user. So for example, can the user see the learn more if it's just in a text form or is it better as a button? Next we're going to talk about how this process works. How do you go from changing text to a button or changing the color? So you're going to create the software, the tool, then you're going to test it. You're going to have users, whether they're internal, external, or temp employees, you're going to have them go through the software and you're going to give them desired actions that you want them to take or processes to go through. You're going to see how well they can get through them on their own. So they're going to use this, you're going to test this. Once you create it, you're going to test it. After you test it, you're going to improve it. So user, users have a hard time seeing the learn more they didn't know how to go to the next page or the next part of the workflow. So you're going to make it a little bit bigger and you're going to change the color. You're going to make it a button because buttons say click me versus text, you know, maybe read, click, is it a hyperlink, you don't know. So you're going to turn it into a button. And once you do that, you're going to repeat. You're going to have the users test this with the new button. You're going to see how many users can get through to the next level. And then this is just a little basic idea of what usability testing is. Um, I think it's, you know, wash, rinse, repeat. So once you create it, test it, improve it, you're going to repeat, test it again, and it's going to be an iterative process and you're going to want to do that through the entire software development life cycle, which I'll cover why in a couple seconds here. Um, you know, there's a various amounts of different testing. You can do A and B testing, where you have layout one versus layout two, or you can just change one thing at a time, a little bit here, a little bit there. But the most important thing is you got to have a comparative benchmark. you got to have a base score and then grade and score your, your changes, your, uh, your improvements versus your base score. So that's a little overview of what usability is and how you can test it. Now we're going to talk about what happens due to a lack of testing. So a lot of times you're going to end a software project with broken software. It's not going to work, um, pages might be missing, hyperlinks might not work, they might lead to the wrong page. You might have people being navigated to dead ends with nowhere to go. It might be a little confusing. Uh, another thing you're going to do is jeopardize timelines. As a result of the broken software, you're going to get to the end of the project and you're going to discover all of these issues because you haven't been doing usability testing. But the project ends in a week and you have 20 problems that you weren't expecting to have to deal with this week, which is also going to jeopardize your bu budget. So do you pay people overtime to get these done? Do you jeopardize the timeline and push it back some more? What, what gives? Something's got to give. You either got to live with the changes, pay more money, or move the deadline. Um, and what this is going to do is going to diminish your credibility. If your website's not working, your customers are going to be upset. If, you know, for example, if you're in e-commerce and your shopping cart has some glitches, or if it's constantly reloading, or it's navigating them to dead ends that they don't want to go to or they can't find the information they want. Now, what usability testing is going to do for you is it's going to give you the ability to fix them now. Instead of finding these projects or these mistakes at the end of the project, you're going to be able to find them as you go and fix them as they come up before they can escalate and get worse. And dealing with them one at a time versus 20 or so all at once at the end of the project when stress levels are already high. Um, fixing them as you go is going to allow you to finish on time. Uh, you're going to come to the last week of the project timeline and you're not going to have a backlog of issues because you fixed them as they came. 
this can lead to finishing under budget, um, saving money, saving time, and uh, finishing under, under budget. They're all great benefits. And the end result of this is going to be satisfied customers. You're going to be satisfied because you allowed companies like Redstone to come in and do our job and do it effectively. Um, test it, improve it, repeat, repeat. Um, then you're going to have satisfied customers. Your customers are going to be satisfied because the software works for them. And then, you know, the bottom line is usability is going to improve your ROI. You're going to finish on time, under budget. You're going to have a better software, happy customers, more e-commerce buys, more website visits, longer time spent on the site. There's a number, number, number of benefits that come from usability testing. Super important. One of the reasons for the video today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment below. Look forward to chatting with all of you. And remember, Redstone Content Solutions, we deliver. Have a great day.